Within the elegant and impressive architecture of some southern hotels, love stories bloomed, then withered, leaving behind a bittersweet imprint. Now their walls contain echoes of unrequited love, ill-fated love, and the saddest of all, lost love. Join us as we embark upon an exploration of romance, tragedy, and hauntings in the following historic Southern hotels. Our journey begins with the Omni Homestead Resort in Hot Springs, Virginia. Once a vacation destination for royalty and presidents, you'd expect this hotel that's over 250 years old to have some tales to tell. The homestead has definitely seen its share of mystery and drama. Or, in the case of the ghostly jilted bride, misery and drama. In the early 20th century, her groom ghosted her on her wedding day when he left to run an errand and never came back. Devastated, she took her own life. But perhaps her betrothed joined her in the afterlife after all? Many report seeing the ghost of the bride with a male apparition. The historic inns of Annapolis in Maryland is also over 250 years old. Guests have reported seeing ghosts of Revolutionary War soldiers, but also the ghost of the captain and his bride. While Navy Captain Charles Campbell was at sea, his bride waited for him at the inn. Sadly, once back on land, he was killed in a carriage accident. His bride was so distraught, she immediately took her own life. They may not have lived happily ever after, but it seems they're spending eternity together. Many have spied her pacing the halls of the hotel's fourth floor and him in the tap room. Love and tragedy also fuel the ghost story at the Green Park Inn in Blowing Rock, North Carolina. But there seems to be a happily ever after ending here. Laura Green, the daughter of one of the hotel's founding families, is believed to haunt room 318, where she hung herself after her lover jilted her at the altar. Her apparition has been reported there, as well as the Victorian suite, both of which are popular with wedding guests. However, many have spotted her in the company of a ghostly man. Did she find a phantom bow in the afterlife? Or did her lover decide to spend eternity with her after all? The Menger Hotel is just one of the historic and haunted hotels you'll find near the Alamo in San Antonio, Texas. A few ghosts are believed to haunt the hotel, including possibly Teddy Roosevelt, who recruited Rough Riders in the bar during the Spanish-American War, which isn't very romantic, but the ghost of Sally White is. She was one of the hotel's beloved chambermaids. Her jealous husband shot her to death in 1876, cutting her life short. To pay their respects, the hotel paid her funeral costs, a receipt of which is on display in the lobby. Does she feel indebted to the hotel or safe within its walls? Whatever the reason, she's perhaps the Menger's most reported ghost. You can not only stay in a room named after the resident ghost of the Union Station Hotel in Nashville, Tennessee, but you can also sip the signature cocktail crafted in her honor that's served in the hotel's bar and restaurant. Before it became a hotel, the Union Station was the city's main train station. During World War II, that's where Abigail bid adieu to her soldier when he shipped out for France. It was also where she learned he had died in action when she went to greet him upon his return. Grief-stricken, she threw herself in front of a train. Does she really haunt room 711, as some say? Or does it just feel that way because it's decorated differently from the other rooms in the hotel? Not all ghosts stem from tragic tales, however. Some are just romantics at heart like the ghostly bellman at the Jekyll Island Club Resort in Jekyll Island, Georgia. 
he's particularly fond of making sure bridegrooms look their best. The hotel's modern-day bellmen don't dress in historical uniforms. But on more than one occasion, a bridegroom has complimented the bellman dressed in 1920s-era clothing for delivering fresh-pressed suits to them, even though they didn't ask for such a service. A labor of love may be the reason for ghost stories linked to the Casa Monica Resort and Spa in St. Augustine, Florida. The hotel's distinctive Moorish architecture has been a city landmark since it was built in 1888 by Franklin W. Smith. Sadly, financial difficulties forced him to sell to a business rival after only running the hotel for one year. Smith never recovered financially, dying impoverished in 1911. Having been denied living his dream in life, did his spirit return after death? Is he the cause of the mysterious lights and other unexplained activity on the third floor of the Casa Monica now? We'll end our journey with the Omni Grove Park Inn in Asheville, North Carolina. There's no proof confirming a rumor that a woman fell to her death on the Palm Court floor in the 1920s, nor is her death associated with lost or unrequited love. But it has prompted tales of a ghost called the Pink Lady. Ghosts, especially women, come in all kinds of colors, from ladies in white and gray to black or red. But pink is unique, and so is the fact that many describe the Pink Lady as a gentle presence who leaves them feeling peaceful after their encounter with her. Even though we've explored tales tinged with sadness, we're also reminded of the enduring power of love and its ability to transcend even death. Thank you for jaunting with us on this tour of the South's most romantic haunted hotels. We hope you loved it to death. If so, be sure to like and leave a comment letting us know if you've ever stayed in any of these hotels or which ones you'd like to. Until next time, Ciao for now.